One thing I have very little tolerance for, it's rich, privileged children viewing the world as their private playground. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most unforgivable moments and actions of beloved TV characters that made audiences give up on them completely. We were on a break! Number 10. Andy Sets Sail – The Office After entering the picture in Season 3, Ed Helms's buffoonish director of sales was polarizing for many viewers. His immaturity was pretty evident, even for a Dunder Mifflin employee. Just stop doing it. You're going to drive me crazy. Fine, I'll just go sit at my desk and be quiet. Sorry I annoyed you with my friendship." Over the course of the next few seasons, however, he underwent significant character growth and became a valued ensemble member. Yet in the final season, Andy alienated fans and his co-workers when he abandoned his girlfriend Erin, who already had abandonment issues, to sail the Caribbean with his brother. I am very pleased I could help Andy. Would I have gone with him if he'd asked me? On his sailboat cruise to the Caribbean? Yes. <laughs> I think that would have been really fun and romantic." This reminded viewers of the callous and selfish guy he was when he was first introduced. Even a hasty attempt to win back some of his goodwill in the latter half of the season failed to rectify the damage. Let's get back to busting some paper rhymes. Come on. Who's that girl? Who's that girl? It's Andy! Number 9. Deb's Feelings for Dexter Dexter He may be a serial killer, but Dexter Morgan has a soft spot for his adopted sister. And after six seasons, we learned just how much of a soft spot she had for him. It's your safe place. Yeah since we were kids." Deborah Morgan was a character who brought out the human side of Dexter, but in the sixth season, she realized she was in love with him, kicking off a bizarre turn of events in a show that was no stranger to bizarre turns of events. God, you can't keep doing this to me. I've almost lost you twice. I love you. Murder was one thing, but this was a bridge too far for many viewers. Deborah's devotion to Dexter before was adorable, if sad. Adding this unnecessary layer only made it incredibly disturbing. Thankfully, it didn't last too long. It's like I've always been looking for someone like Dexter, or someone who's the opposite of Dexter as a way to avoid the fact that I'm in love with him." Number 8. Nate Betrays Ted Ted Lasso Head coach Ted Lasso treated his coaching staff like family. Among them was Nate Shelley, his protege and assistant coach. However, Nate quickly grew jealous of Ted, and it all boiled over in this penultimate Season 2 episode. Try out your fake nine. False nine. Hey, this looks very nice. Thank you. Oh, here we go again. Give Ted yet another idea he'll take all the credit for. In a shocking and heartbreaking turn, Nate betrayed Ted by leaking news of his anxiety attacks to the press. It was a rare moment of viciousness from a character we'd come to love. Because you, you sure as hell don't belong here. But I do. I belong here. This, di this didn't just fall into my lap, right? I, I earned this. Nevertheless, just like all things on Ted Lasso, the fallout ultimately concluded on a gentle note. Despite the betrayal and hurt, Ted and Nate eventually reconciled, although the incident made fans completely second-guess the show's central theme of kindness. It's okay. No, please, please, can you just let me say it? I'm sorry. <laughs> Number 7. Carrie Breaks Up With Aiden – Sex and the City The columnist at the center of this HBO comedy set in New York City often left us scratching our heads. Carrie's ongoing will-they-won't-they -they relationship with Mr. Big made for some rich drama, but it also hindered our understanding of her character. Wow. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I get it. You've never been in love. The most egregious example of her self-serving behavior came when she broke up with Aiden, whom the show made out to be a near-perfect guy. He was sweet, handsome, and attentive, qualities that stood in contrast to Big, who could be cold and infuriating. Aiden even forgave Carrie when she cheated on him with Big. I am yours. There is nobody else. I love you, but I can't marry you to make you trust me." So when she abruptly decided to end their relationship, it didn't make any sense. Suddenly, Carrie's hopeless romanticism just seemed ridiculous. "...can't believe I'm back here again. 
Number six, Rory drops out of Yale. Gilmore Girls. If Lorelai Gilmore wanted anything, it was to see her daughter attend an Ivy League school and not become the spoiled rich kid her parents envisioned. This is for the best. Listen, um, I've got to get back. We have a big staff meeting in a few minutes, and I want to get back and make sure everything's set up and ready. We'll see you tonight, my one and only offspring. Well, as it turns out, those two things might go hand in hand. Having grown up believing she was inherently exceptional, Rory's response to a rotten internship experience was to impulsively steal a yacht and then act indignant when forced to take accountability. Nice and seaworthy. Not ours to take. That ever stopped you before? I think I've been a bad influence on you, Ace. Her decision to drop out of Yale was the culmination of a series of bad choices driven by a bruised ego. Now, we can cut her some slack due to her young age, but as any fan would tell you, Rory lost some of her shine after this incident. You're making a mistake. No, I'm not. This is normal. College kids take breaks like this all the time. You didn't go to college, so you don't understand. No, I didn't go to college. Number five, Fiona endangers Liam. Shameless. Shameless threw so much at Fiona Gallagher handing her the unofficial responsibility of sole parent over her multiple siblings. I'm not asking for your pity or your admiration. I just want to be able to give these kids everything that they deserve because they're great kids. Given her circumstances, we forgave her when she occasionally went off the rails. In a show full of characters constantly going off the rails, Fiona's missteps kind of felt earned. However, in season four, her actions took a more troubling turn as she cheated on her boyfriend with his brother and ended up in possession of narcotics. It's gonna be okay, right? Her youngest brother, Liam, accidentally ingests the drugs she carelessly left out, resulting in his hospitalization and Fiona's arrest. Watching her grapple with overwhelming guilt was moving, but it was the natural conclusion to a series of really dumb decisions. Mr. Gallagher? Please tell him Gotta go. Please tell him that I love him, okay? And I'm so, so sorry. Please, please. Let Number four, we were on a break. Friends. Hindsight is 2020. Ross Geller was a lovable, if somewhat goofy, paleontologist who spent the whole series pining after Rachel, even when he was marrying another woman. Hi, Ross. Hi, Ross. Take thee, Emily. Take thee, Rachel. Emily. But when the two were broken up, or on a break depending on who you ask, and Ross slept with someone else, a lot of people started to see he wasn't all he was cracked up to be. Then on top of that, he almost expects her to be grateful for his efforts to keep the affair hidden. Like I wanted him to tell you, I ran all over the place trying to make sure that didn't happen. <laughs> oh, that is so sweet. <laughs> I think I'm falling in love with you all over again. <laughs> Ross continuously digging his heels in over the semantics may have launched a catchphrase, but it also really made him look like a jerk. Oh, I'm sorry, were you speaking to me or sleeping with someone else? <laughs> we were on a break. Oh, you know, Ross, why don't you just put that on your answering machine? Hey, hey, it's valid, okay? Number three, Spike attacks Buffy, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Prior to this season six episode, Spike the Vampire was a fan favorite. The forbidden romance between him and his slayer Buffy was fraught and teased out for most of the series. Are you hurt? You're not moving so well. Get out. We have to talk. I really don't. However, the dynamic took a darker turn in this particular episode when Spike makes aggressive advances towards Buffy before pinning her to the floor. If their relationship wasn't doomed before among the fans, this incident seemed to seal the deal for many. What have I done? Despite the show's array of frightening monsters from hell, this was perhaps the most unsettling moment across all seven seasons. Actor James Marsters, who portrayed Spike, found the scene so difficult to shoot that he vowed to never do anything similar again. And she shall look on him with forgiveness, and everybody will forgive and love. Number two, Alex leaves Joe for Izzy, Grey's Anatomy. Dr. Alex Karev arrived at Seattle Grace Hospital as a cocky and generally unlikable intern. Over the next 16 seasons, we witnessed his transformation into a caring and loving partner to Dr. Izzy Stevens. Today I become a husband. Today I become accountable to someone other than myself. 
Today I become accountable to you. After Katherine Heigl, the actress who portrayed Izzy, exited the show, viewers had to adjust to Karev's tumultuous romance with Dr. Joe Wilson. However, all of that progress was undone when Karev abruptly left Joe via a letter. The last thing on earth I want to do is hurt you. But I'm leaving. I already left, actually. I'm gone. Not only did he depart without a proper goodbye, but he also reunited with Izzy, who had left him years before and had been raising his secret children the whole time. Even fans of Karev and Izzy's relationship thought it was an unfortunate mishandling of a key character's exit. And I'm applying to the hospital nearby. And I wanted to be mad at Izzy for keeping them from me, but I can't because all I am is grateful she made them. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Daenerys Destroys King's Landing – Game of Thrones Witnessing the conclusion of HBO's epic fantasy series was bittersweet for us all. Jaime Lannister's character development was all but undone by his decision to die with his sister, Cersei. Nothing else matters. <laughs> Nothing else matters. Only us. Daenerys Targaryen, on the other hand, always bore a bit of her family's darkness. Instead of taking us on that ride with her and delving into the corrosive nature of hatred, the show chose to fast-track her descent into a snarling madwoman. The next time you fail me will be the last time you fail me. In the penultimate episode, audiences watched in horror as she ordered her army and her dragons to ravage the city of King's Landing. We were always destined to fall out of love with Daenerys, but the rushed final season made it impossible to really process that loss. What about everyone else? All the other people who think they know what's good. They don't get to choose. What TV moment completely destroyed a character for you? Let us know in the comments. I did it all, Frank. <laughs> well, that helps you sleep better. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.